Like Skip Bayless this morning, for instance, Ooh. said that we didn't ask him hard enough questions, anything like that, to follow up. Uh, but my favorite about Skip is he participated yes, he did. in the $20,000 giveaway on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. And he actually talked about it this morning on their show. Watching this trend for, I don't know, five or six hours. Hashtag thank you, Aaron. I was dumbfounded. <laughs> I was outraged. And I kept thinking, how could Packer Nation let him get away with what he just got away with? How could they be so gullible to let him flip the script on them? So I, I did. This is what I tweeted, if, if we could see it. He tweeted. Hashtag thank you, Aaron, for letting down Packer Nation in all five of your NFC Championship games, even oh. the first one when you barely hung on to beat Caleb Haney, and oh. especially the last one in the fourth quarter against Brady in the box. Thank you for so entertainingly deflecting any blame. Okay, so. All right, so. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. Okay, whenever I saw that tweet, I mean, I believe I saw it first in here. I was pretty pumped up about it. I wanted him to potentially be in the running for one of the winners. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I wanted him to send us his Venmo. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wanted him to do that entire. I was really excited about it. And then when you read it, you're like, oh, this is the most Skip Bayless thing of all mm -hmm. time. Mm hmm. But there's some people, I guess, that get very upset that Skip Bayless says that type of stuff. I mean, I laughed hysterically. I wanted him, I, I actually, because the boys are picking the winners. Uh, I think Zito, Mitt, uh, Connor, I believe a lot of people have already started picking the winners. One person will win $10,000. 20 people will win $500 for the hashtag thank you, Aaron, for thanking Aaron for coming on the show this year and giving us incredible conversations, not for duping Packer Nation yeah. into thinking about it, but for coming on. So whatever the case, uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot because it's the most Skip Bayless thing of all time but i assume that skip bayless is the reason why aaron potentially hasn't enjoyed conversations with a lot of media people like not just skip in particular but the genre of skips which is i find very entertaining i would like to let everybody know i find it entertaining but i would assume that that is if it's about you you could probably see how like oh i hate this person or not this like people that do this so i could see both different ways here i don't know if that's how aaron feels or not but i could see how if i was aaron i would feel that way well, don't you feel like at least as people that consume like what Skip Bayless does, I feel like getting upset and getting mad and, and voicing your displeasure. That's like, OK, that's like, that's like a hack bit now. Like, that's 10 years ago. Getting mad at Skip Bayless publicly, I feel like, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, it, it, I, I had to run in with Skip on the Internet. Um, he obviously mocks kickers and punters all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told him I, I asked this was years ago. I, this years ago, I sent him, I said, we all hate you too or whatever, you know, guys that get on TV, wear makeup and say dumb things or whatever. And I tweeted that and it got some pretty good action. And I was like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to have to potentially face the music here with this one. Like, I'm going to have to <laughs> mm -hmm. potentially go face to face with Skip and, you know, like, uh, we'll see how this goes. It never happened. But I've, I enjoy because I'm a wrestling fan, right? I've always been a wrestling fan. So I, I very much... And it's hard, I guess, people that aren't wrestling fans and then grow up like, oh, you're supposed to hate this person. But this person is a necessity because without this person, you can't like this person. Right. So like without that. So that's how I have always viewed like the 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 hot take takers. It's like, OK, this person has to exist because then these people can It just that's how I view it. But I think Skip is a, is he's up there in the top tier. I think he's maybe <laughs> Hall of Fame in that type of profession. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm going to get a lot of people to hate me, and I'm just going to be cool with it, and I'm just going to keep it moving. That is what he is at the top level of, top level of. Yeah, but don't you feel like the difference is when you're talking about professional wrestling, we know, people know these guys are playing a character. It may be a version, an exaggerated version of themselves, possibly. Like, what is Skip doing? Is this Skip, or is this a character that Skip is playing? Do we? I honestly don't know. Oh, I never even thought that was potentially real Skip. I don't know. I, I it, he's a very, very good actor, and he is all in. I do give him a lot of respect. Oh, so you're credit. saying if that's not, if this isn't real, Skip, he's got to be incredibly bought into the bit at this point. Yeah, I mean, he is all in. He is all in. We know that he's not backing off anything. Oh, I feel like, and just, yeah, I mean, this is, I don't know. So quick at getting people to hate him. Yeah, just, yeah. You know what I mean? Easy. It's good luck. You know what? I, you know what I do like about all of it is that something that happened on this show that you throw up, oh, I'm going to give money away, hashtag got an actual segment on their show, too. I love a day to sit down probably in a pre-production meeting and talk about it and say, hey, this is going to be uh, this is going to be our B block right here where I'm going to go and I'm just going to annihilate <laughs> Pat McAfee and what they do and Aaron Rodgers. Okay, what's, what's, uh, what's block C? Uh, well, that's kind of... <laughs> 
the interesting thing is the only part because we watch that show shannon i love shannon yeah he's yeah, the man he's i think awesome. shannon is very talented at what he does like and once again i enjoy wrestling so i i like i enjoy that type of stuff especially with sports i love sports so i mean i don't take it as like okay this is gospel this is how i should feel about things but i take it for what it is i love we want the only thing i didn't like is like Man, you guys used our shit every Wednesday, basically. Yeah. And then they said, is this on Mondays he does this? Or it's like, come on. Hey, yeah. you know. You know. Yeah. Hey, hey, Skip, look at me. You know, okay? <laughs> I know you know. You know I know. Mm. Okay? We know. And we're appreciative of you running our shit every single Wednesday, basically. And I'm very thankful for that because I like that we're adding to the world. But hey, is it on Monday? Don't you start doing that. Come don't on. Don't be doing that. Come on. Don't you be doing don't that. Do it. Mm. Skip's been doing this a long time, by the way. He's been getting people riled up for a long time. What, LeBron does something, he immediately. <laughs> yeah. LeBron yeah. Like, gave a school back to Cleveland or whatever. He's like, Whoop, Michael Jordan would have done Not six of them. Saws him down. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's just, it's incredible. He's like a maestro up there, yeah. you know? It's, but if, if it's really him, man, what, what a way to live. And if it's a character, congrats. Yeah, he's, he's, a he's, a <laughs> <laughs> he's a professional piss ant. I mean, that's really all there is to it, you know. And it, it, like uh, people getting mad about it. I mean, I guess like it, when you when you go from being a fan to like start doing what we do, then it's just kind of like, okay, Skip, I know what you're doing. Well, yeah, I know what you're doing. But it's all, he's doing it very well, by the way. Oh yeah, Tom for sure. Skip. Another. Hey, by the way, Mark Madden needs to be tossed yes. tossed into that uh -huh. top tier. Yeah. For sure. By the way, that is not, I don't, it's 24 7, if it is, with Mark <laughs> yeah. Matt, that guy. He was trending the other night because he went to war with the Watts. It was fucking wild. Has that died down at all? We're like, have we got a conclusion? Like, anything happened? I'm not sure. We listened into the show. It was during a hot, we listen to Mark Madden <laughs> relatively daily around here, just either background noise <laughs> or like we'll catch in sometimes, we'll hear what he's saying, but. I'm not sure if it's died down or not. Sources are sources, and then the Steelers got involved. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. It's all, but you got to take it for what, like, hey, like that is, I don't know. That's what he thrives. Like they thrive Bro. in adversity. They thrive when people are coming at him. I guess people are taking Alex Jones for real, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and that's like, that's the issue I would assume with every other potential person like that. Like instead of viewing them as, even if that is them, twenty four seven. Let's go ahead and just put them in in our minds as characters, okay? That is just a character that's in your life that is either a television show or a movie, which is how I view it. When that character comes in, oh, I'm I'm enjoying with this person. They're going to stir. And then they leave, and it's like, all right, that was a good little scene there. Let's go ahead and just, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Let's just keep it going. Like, that is, I think that is how I view almost everything. And I believe that's because I watched, and I've said it four uh -huh. times, I think it's because I watch wrestling.